Welcome to the Table Builder tutorial series. In this video, we will look at creating and working with large tables. Building a table with more than 10,000 cells in Table Builder automatically triggers large table mode. The tables created in this mode are sent to a queue for processing and are able to be downloaded once they are completed. This can take some time depending on the size of the table. For this example, we will start with a table, displaying the number of males and females in each state and territory. The cell count on top of the table shows fewer than 10,000, meaning we are still in normal table mode. Adding some information about occupations into the table will trigger large table mode. Under the Employment, Income and Unpaid Work Classifications folder in the left hand panel, open Occupation. There are a number of different levels of data in this category. Opening the Occupation folder shows us the highest level, but we can still drill down further by selecting any of the folders within. These levels of information are referred to by the number of digits in their classification codes. The more digits, the more detailed the data. Clicking on the arrow next to the top Occupation folder shows the different levels and this allows us to select all the options on a particular level. For this table, let's use the most detailed option, the four digit level. Select that from the drop down menu and you will notice all the data items in this level have a tick next to them. Click the add to row button at the top of the panel. A dialog telling you that you are entering large table preview mode will appear. Click OK to continue. A summary shell of the table is now seen in the table view screen. As you can see, the number of cells in the table is now greater than 10,000. While in large table preview mode, you can still customize your table. We can still drag and drop data items, and when we make changes, the table shell updates. You can toggle whether a total appears in your table by clicking the small sum button next to the data items in the table. In this case, we want to turn it off. Now that we are happy with the structure of the table, we want to populate it with numbers. Click the Q job button in the top right corner, give the table a name, and click Q table. A message on the screen will show that the table has been successfully added to the download job queue. You can check the progress of the table in the Save Tables tab. As the table progresses through the system, the status changes from queued, to running, to completed after refreshing the page. Once it is completed, it can be downloaded as an Excel file within a zip folder. Here is our example large table after being downloaded and opened in an external desktop environment. Another feature of Table Builder that can be useful when using large tables is the wafer function. It can provide another dimension to the table without adding to the rows and columns. Both geographies and data items can be added to the wafer. We can drag the state data item from the columns up to the label wafers above the table. Our geography is now added to the wafer and the table on the screen just shows data for New South Wales. An added benefit in this case is that the table no longer is a large table. It has fewer than 10,000 cells displayed, so we can now retrieve the data and view it within Table Builder. To switch between states, use the drop down box above the table. The table updates as we click through the states. If we download a table with a wafer, each of the wafers will be included in separate sheets within the file. This concludes the Table Builder tutorial for large tables.